Hey everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm the training manager here at Yesware. And today I'm going to show you how to use email templates. Email templates allow you to save time by building a library of pre-written messages, personalize templates for individual recipients in seconds, and stay organized with the templates modal that lives in your inbox. The very first thing that you need to know about templates is that they live in two places. You have the templates library here at the top of Gmail. And then within a compose window, this templates button down here gives you access to all of your templates so you can choose which one you want to use and then insert it into this email. And to create a new template, you just want to click on this blue new template button here in the upper right name the template, choose where you want to save this template, and if you are a team leader on a team that has been set up in Yesware, you can save content to that team. If you're doing a full email start to finish that includes a subject line, you can go ahead and enter that, but it's not a required field. So if you're just doing a couple lines of text as your template, you can skip over it, but we'll put one in here for this example. And then down here is where you start to build out the body of this template. And we leave room for personalization through the use of merge fields. And we have three different options. For those of you with an Yesware Enterprise plan, you can insert Salesforce fields and we will automatically pull from your Salesforce environment the information within those fields. Text fields act as a placeholder or fill in the blanks that you can come back and fill in later. Drop down fields allow you to create a predetermined list of things that you would then choose from. And then you can also insert tracked attachments by clicking this insert attachment button and certainly add images if you choose. And then once this template has been set up, you can go ahead and save that. And now let's close out of the library here and open up a compose window, put in our recipient's email information and click on this templates button here. And now you can look at any of your recent templates. If you've just created a template, there's this little refresh button here that you can click to get that updated. Certainly look through all of your template options, including any team templates that you have access to. You can star these so that they'll show up in your favorites or use the search bar here to search by content or category. Just remember if you're searching by category, you want to hashtag that. And then when you find the one that you want to use, you have two options. You can either click insert or click fill in. Insert is literally going to dump this template in as is. So if you have any of these text fields, you want to use the fill in option so that you can fill those in. And you may have noticed that the Salesforce field auto populated because I entered this email address into the to field. So for folks with a Yesware enterprise subscription, again, those Salesforce fields are gonna automatically pull in that information from Salesforce based off of the email address you put into the to field. And then for text fields, you can just kind of fill in the blanks here. Choose from the drop down and click insert to template. And then we'll have pulled in all of that information for you and you can send this off as is, or you can continue to make edits. So you can add extra text. You can change any of the text that we inserted. You can include multiple templates. So if you need to insert instructions on how to do something, you can include that and it will just put itself in wherever your cursor was. It won't override what's already written there. And then you can send off this email. You can also 
use these templates directly from the library if you wanted to fill in the blanks here. Choose from the drop down and then click insert. And this is going to open up a compose window and insert that information. And then within the templates library here, you have all of your folders for organization and you can create new ones with this little folder plus icon here. Again, if you're a team leader, you can create team folders. If you need to delete out any folders, there's this little delete icon here. You can collapse these if you so choose drag and drop to reorder the categories. You can change the size of the uh, sidebar here, as well as change the size of the modal and move it around. You can also start to see how these templates are performing with open percentage and reply percentage and reorder by that. You can also do custom sorts by clicking on this custom sort button here and you can drag and drop. You can also change the name of these folders with this little edit icon here. and certainly see any of the recently used or use the search bar up here to search for new templates.